Rachel. I have a lot of guy friends and I've taken their match profile pictures. I've looked at their Bumble profile and given feedback. And I think that men could use a few tips on their dating profiles. And I'm gonna very narrowly talk about the pictures. So I have three tips for men. And the first is no fish pictures. And I know this is really terribly upsetting to you because you love your fish picture and you just think it's so great. But the equivalent is the pictures that you see on women's profiles with the heavy filters. And I'm not talking about the average filters because every woman on the planet will use filters on her photos. And I do too. I mean, you think I actually look like that? Like, no, that's lighting. But there are some filters that have these like weird cat ears and like these butterflies and like the women look like a freak and you're like what is this like what does she even look like there's no way she looks like a cat so the equivalent is your fish picture women just aren't into it they don't like it so cut the fish picture just get rid of it it's very common you don't want to be common the second thing is no group photos. If it's a sporting event where it's the Chicago Cubs and it's clear that that's the audience and the you know background and then you're the focal point, that kind of picture is okay. If there's others in the background that are blurred or very tiny. But if you have pictures with you and others, it's not a good look. One, women don't know which person you are. You think it's obvious, but for the woman, she's never met you, she doesn't know. And then second, sometimes you can be next to your friend who's better looking than you. Like that's just not smart. There was a scenario where a woman, she messaged a man and she's like, you know, I'm not interested in you, but your friend in your picture, is he single? And uh, yeah, that's very demoralizing. So just no group pictures. And then the third, you should always have pictures that showcase competence or skill. This can be work or hobbies. So you could be, you know, in front of your office or something in a jacket, or if you have a motorcycle and you go riding, You'd have a picture with that. But anything that shows, you know, uh, any kind of status or competence or a skill, put those pictures in. So there you go. No fish pictures, no group pictures, and try to put in pictures showing competence and skills. And, you know, honestly, you really should get pictures taken, not by professional photographer, those are kind of stiff and they're, you know, it, it's not the look that you're going for, you want action shots, but get your cousin, a female friend, someone that you're close to at work, get them to take some pictures of you. Because these pictures where you crop someone off, especially if, if they can tell that that was a woman, they're like, okay, that's your ex. You know, it's not a good look. Pay for this or just ask a friend. I know it's kind of awkward, it's kind of weird, and trust me, my guy friends, I had to practically force them to take their picture. And then they thanked me and were like, oh wow, I got so many more dates after the picture, you know. So I hope that helps and best of luck with your pictures.